Hi there, it's Jen here. Thanks for coming back. This wee episode is introducing the quartz stone um, called citrine. It's a pretty popular stone and when I run into some of the meanings you'll see why. Um, this is also a stone that is in the centre of some quite robust discussions out there on the interweb and it's because uh, there's a lot of it out there that is um, amethyst heat treated and turned into um, citrine. Now like I said in the previous video I don't have really strong opinions on that. The heat treated citrine which you can see there's, there's some here the heat treated citrine is still a crystal that still has healing properties that still has a vibration so that still can work with the energies and vibrations of other things that might need it to balance it clean it purify it lift it heal it so um i've got a series here of wee grid stones and you can actually see in one of them that the heat treating didn't quite completely work because there's still purple. Can you see that? There's still a purpley colour just underneath the gold. Um, <clears throat> but I love using those on my crystal grids. I think they're fine. I've got a wee um, purse stone or um, brass stone if you like. <laughs> and this is really great for carrying around. And um, that one heats, is heat treated too. And I also have this, and I use this quite a bit in my practice. Um, this is a heat treated double point, so the energies flow easily either direction. Um, it's very rainbowy. It's a very, very beautiful double point um, heat treated citrine. I actually, uh, part of me feels like this was an ametrine um, because it's got an aspect of it that looks like original. Um, citrine and then there's the aspect of it that looks like what amethyst looks like when it's been heat treated but I'll never know because I wasn't there when it was done so it's all just a guess but I'll introduce you now to my natural citrine collection I feel really really blessed to have these um, this is an um, a stunner like a, words just can't describe this crystal it is an absolute stunner and this one even though there's lots and lots of ways that it can refract light and jump out at me, um, this one can do it in any light. It's just, it, it can do it in the dark. It, well, not pure dark, but in the really low lit, it jumps out at you. This is another um, really beautiful natural citrine point. Just love it. And um, here's a slightly darker one, still natural. It's just got a more of a... Um, bit of a smoky kind of gold going on in there. Now I've got a wee natural raw piece here and I just want to show you that this broke and I don't even know how it broke, it was literally, it was in the bowl that I keep it in and then the next time I saw it in the bowl it was in two pieces. I personally don't get worried about when crystals break. I think, well, I just think that they know what they're doing. They're um, maybe it needs to be two, two different energies, maybe it needs to be gifted or a piece of it needs to be gifted. It doesn't bother me at all when it does that, I just think it's part of the process. Um, here's another different colour again, but this is another natural piece of citrine. It's just sourced from a different mine and, um, and the person that I purchased this off sources from um, ethically uh, selected mines she's really really particular about where she purchases from anyway so that's interesting again a different kind of color and here is another one to blow your brain um this i don't know if you can see through it it's almost lemony at the bottom it's almost like lemon quartz at the bottom and smoky but it's called citrine and it's from the congo um and they are calling it citrine anyway absolutely beautiful um, I don't get, like I say, too hung up on really specifics because it's about the actual crystal, how it feels for me and what I want to use it for. But we'll just quickly jump into some of the meanings of citrine. Um, the most popular meanings that people love are the success and prosperity. Of course the gold colour is associated with glitz and glamour and prosperity. Um, but there's also other really neat things. There's joy, wonder, delight, there's um, self-esteem increasing self-esteem, increasing motivation, increasing creativity and self-expression, increasing concentration, 
Um, and the gold color itself, some of the meanings around that are illumination, love, compassion, courage, um, passion, magic. So like I say, I'm not going to get hugely into the the specific meanings because it really is about how it's interacting with your energy, about what you're needing, about what your intentions are and about how it feels for you. So yeah, run with the themes, but otherwise go for something that feels great. And um, I'm grateful for my wee collection and I'm grateful that I get to share it with you. So again, have a, a lovely day and um, I'll catch you next one. Thanks for listening.